In this quick video, I'm going to show you how I go about painting large masses to small. So I want you to see in this example how just taking the very basic shapes and then working them in by squinting down and looking at your reference and seeing the shape and the value so that you can make a very basic little painting in a first layer that looks really good. When you come up close, it looks like all these different abstract shapes. And when you stay, step back, you see a wave. My name is Vita Evenson and I paint Greece. So here I'm just uh, laying down, this is an acrylic burnt sienna just to get a, a, a wash on the canvas and uh, I'm just adding in the basic, basic shapes. It's squinting down and seeing the darks and the lights and uh, moving in to uh, understanding how this pattern of the wave is working without trying to create a wave or paint a wave. I'm simply squinting down, looking at the value, looking at uh, the shape of that value area and laying that in. So you don't need to know that you're painting a wave. All you need to do is squint down and establish the shape first in very large abstract masses and then moving into smaller and smaller masses as you go along. But I think you'll find in this example that even in this very first layer of painting shapes and values uh, even though it's very abstract and there's no high detail fine details anywhere the wave is coming along beautifully just squinting down and i'm working with a limited palette and uh, just using what is available to me. As I've said many times, you can paint this wave in hot pink. And if your values are correct and the mass and the shapes are, uh, are correct, are valid to this photo reference, even though it's a hot pink wave, you will know that it is a hot pink wave. You'll just know it's a wave. And uh, just see from working large abstract to more details. And even though the smaller shapes that I'm putting in now are very uh, minimal and rough and uh, there's no fine, picking and details you'll see in a moment right when you step back you know you've got the wild shapes wild brush strokes up close it looks crazy and then when you step back oh it all comes together and you're like that's a wave hope you enjoyed this